check this out in this video that um, I'm about to explain to you. It's not a review, it's just me trying to teach you a lesson. And this book of Enoch is one of the last books of the Bible. And it describes on how these uh, um, messengers of God, well, heavenly messengers, which are fallen angels, talks about fallen angels, how they uh, deceive mankind, and how they would use Enoch to um, try to make it like, like, like to go as, as an escape go to go talk to God for them. Well, I want to explain what I feel the Lord's been showing me um, when I read the Quran too, because I do read the Quran to try to understand it. And when I read it, I I read it from a spiritual standpoint. I don't read it from a carnal mind. And I feel like when I read certain things of the Quran, it's like if the enemy is talking in codes in that book. Now, um, and I and I and I also I'm going to go to the the true Word of God, which is you know our God, the Gospel of Christ, and I will. Um, uh, put scripture that backs up this this uh, uh, book of Enoch. Let's go ahead and play. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. He said to me, Enoch, thou scribe of righteousness, go, declare to the watchers of the heaven who have left the high heaven, the holy eternal place. You see how it says, had left the high heaven, the holy and eternal place. Let's go to the Bible. Here's the, that, let's go to the Bible. I'm going to go to Jude. I'm going to go to Jude. One, six, and I'll highlight it for you. Or, or, or one, six. Yeah. And the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he hath reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. So the Bible is backing that up. So let's go back. and have defiled themselves with women, and have done as the children of earth do, and have taken unto themselves wives, ye have wrought great destruction on the earth. And ye shall have no peace nor forgiveness of sin. And in as much as they delight themselves in their children, the murder of their beloved ones shall they see. And over the destruction of their children shall they lament, and shall make supplication unto eternity. But mercy and peace shall ye not attain so i'm gonna I, 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 i'm I, i'm gonna explain something and i want you guys to think and to use your minds if you were a fallen angel and if you were you fell from god's grace and you know you got kicked out of heaven as the word of god says um in revelation chapter uh chapter 12 you know they get kicked out of heaven um, if you read Revelation chapter 12, but check this out. If you were a fallen angel and if you were trying to find grace in God's eyes and you weren't getting it and God t uh, tells his messengers to relay a, 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 a message from him that he's not going to forgive you, what do you think they're going to do? They're going to turn in rage. They're going to be bitter. They're going to be hurt. They're going to be angry. So they're going to be like, that's not fair that we ain't being forgiven. We're not going to be forgiven. So what do you think they're going to do? They're going to try to do everything to destroy mankind. Now let's go to the book of Quran and how I feel like this. these are these are fallen angels and, and the, the book of the enemy. Look at, let me read it from, from verse 2. This is the Quran. This is the book about which there is no doubt a guidance for those conscious of Allah who believe in the unseen, establish prayer, and spend out of what we have provided for them. That sounds like if it's the fallen angels talking talking like like it's their book saying, you no, know, what we have provided for them. And when I when I Listen to the book of Enoch, it matches up to what the Quran says. It's like like this book right here is their book to how to destroy mankind. And the Muslims don't understand it. It's pretty crazy. And who believe in what has been revealed to you, O Muhammad? See, people don't understand that Muhammad got, they, they say that he got his message from an angel who they believe was Gabriel, but it wasn't. It was a fallen angel. If you do your research on um, is on the Muslims on Mohammed. They will say that he, an angel visited him, and the an angel did visit him, but it was obviously a fallen angel. 
And the book of Enoch proves that. Um, there's so much more that I, I, I want to learn. I'm, I'm a little tired right now. So um, I'm going to do better next time. This is only like my third video of doing. Um, I found a new cool way to, to watch videos or read the scripture and explain it to you guys without just doing videos with just my face. Um, I want to let you know Jesus is the way, the truth, the life. No man goes to the Father except through him. God bless. And I want to say something um, before before we go. Let's go. Let's go to Romans. Real quick. Romans. Three. 28 and let me hide it therefore we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law is it he that could uh, sorry got it the wrong way 323 sorry 323 for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God just know that we all have sinned and we've all um um, we are sinners, um, and we all have been sinners. I have too. Um, the word says it right there. Let me highlight it. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. I want to let you know Jesus Christ loves you, and he'll forgive you for any sin that you've done. You know, um, unfortunately for the, the fallen angels that taught mankind that they don't get forgiveness. That sort of sucks. It's pretty funny. <laughs> And I can understand why they hate us so much because we can mess up <laughs> and the Lord will forgive us. But then these are sitting around and probably listening to me right now all, all mad somewhere. But at the end of the day, I want to let you know, man, on, on a serious note, Jesus Christ did die for um, um, us for our sins. So therefore we can repent and um, turn from our ways and, you know, live, live a, a holy, righteous life and do our best in this life. You know, love each other, help each other out, um, um, treat each other with respect, do, do what God wants us to do, follow his commandments, and we will have a place in heaven. But unfortunately, a lot of people who, who, do these things which obviously were influenced by demonic spirits fallen angels the enemy satan himself you know all the filthiness in the world is because of the influence they have on it so that's why god don't give them no forgiveness but the book of quran man when i read it it's like that's their book that's the fallen angels book that's satan's book he's they're the author behind that like it, it, it's creepy it is when i read it um it, but I want to let you guys know, God bless you.